Why did they cut this? You, 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 you. This <laughs> oh my god, how terrifying is that? That full infection form there. It actually picks up in the assault rifle and starts shooting the assault <laughs> right. rifle. So there was a beta build of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary that was leaked out. It looks kind of interesting, some early stuff. It doesn't look too wild, but you get to see like some of like the early marketing stuff that was not end up being in the final product actually in this. Uh, but I will say I have some insider information. Early builds of Combat, uh, Evol Combat Evolved Anniversary, if I can speak properly. Even though some people might think that the art style was like a too drastically changed, trust me, it could have been way worse <laughs> from what I've been told about Combat Evolved Anniversary. Uh, so I thought it'd be a fun thing to kind of just jump right into it. I saw this post yesterday from uh, Vengeful Vadami. So you can see he posted this uh, just last night saying for those unaware, Five Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary pre-release builds have leaked, uh, with two of them utilizing Halo Reach models for the assault rifle and Magnum. Imagine like having to use like the Halo Reach assault rifle for Combat Evolved Anniversary. That would just be such a weird, weird thing to do. I'm pretty sure this was like placeholder things, right? Before they actually go like full on into making all the new, you know, remaking models and things like that. I mean, you can see they had like the CEA Master Chief already re ready to go with this build. Experimental Weird Stuff Boys over there at the General Heed's channel. They recently just released a video going over the whole thing. And I thought it'd be a fun thing to kind of just check it out and see what it's about. And then like with the knowledge I have on the mode as well to see like when it comes to Combat Evolved Anniversary, see like what else comes of this, right? What else is it mixed in with this whole thing? I thought that'd be kind of an interesting thing to kind of check out. Pre-release version, the huh. beta or alpha or whatever. Uh, I kind of like the uh, pre-release, like with like the like visual effects of this, like kind of a gas kind of effect around it. Though it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense, right? Scientifically speaking, right, when it comes to this. But I kind of like, like, just like that little bit of extra, extra movement. Because like out here, it makes it just look like it's kind of like a 3D model against like a PNG. It doesn't make it seem like it's involved with the environment. You know what I mean? Dude, About can we just say like, we're not just like Combat Evolved menu still is like an S tier menu. It's so good. Like the original Combat Evolved start screen, just like you're just floating around the ring, right? You see, you get the sense of space and scale that we're talking about when it comes to this. And it's like, well animated, you're moving around and all that kind of stuff, which probably even when the developers who made that probably don't even think it was that crazy, right? But just like, I don't know, maybe just me being a nostalgic Halo kid, it just makes me feel like it's still goaded. The background is completely different. It's the the skybox is different, the location is completely different. It's basically most of the differences. I mean this menu looks you. this menu looks pretty much the same as the final build. Especially the mall. Yeah, look at look at, look at that. <laughs> look at that mall screenshot right there like that's definitely a early build to say the least on that one one other skull that is available on here that's not in the final version is a cut skull known as the bang bang skull this skull is a very interesting skull that did not make it into the final release you know that was some early development titling like do you think they would actually title it the bang bang skull like it just sounds so just like unhalo like but maybe, I don't know, maybe it works. Weapon sounds are replaced with like human interpretations. Dude, that actually sounds hilarious. Why did they cut this? I would absolutely want that as a skull. I did preview this video a little bit and they do actually showcase some of the preview of it. And it's like pretty freaking hilarious. Oh my God, imagine they did that with all the weapons. <laughs> It's just so monotone and just bored while just trying to just destroy stuff. <laughs> just pew, pew, pew. <laughs> so you may have also noticed that. This okay, like, oh, come on. How did that get cut? I guess maybe they just didn't have time to fill out the rest. Next Halo game, this needs to happen. Pew, pew, bang, bang, skull needs to be in the game. Absolutely. I don't care what the next feature is going to be in the next Halo game, right? Grenade hit markers back in the game. As long as we get the pew pew skull, then, you know, then I consider it mission accomplished. It was sort of swish, swish, swash, swash, swish, stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Dude, how is that? How did that get cut? Come on. I don't like, I don't see it being that difficult to add in. So you're going to do like plaza weapons though, right? How would you do like a plaza weapon sound on it? Ploosh, 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 ploosh,
Are you trying to call a cat there, Jaden? Just like, pss, 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 like that. <laughs> I, I, I think with the sword, you don't even have like an actual sound effect. You just hear stab, stab. But I, I don't know. I, I mean, I will I, say reach weapons are kind of peak Halo design, but like you need to put the originals in there if you're gonna do like a remake or a remaster of them, right? Let's uh, let's take a quick look. Yeah, I wish that. we could just like go into these debug menus like this and like in Halo Infinite's campaign, right? And just do like some third person angles to get like some sweet screenshots and stuff. I'm a sucker for a good screenshot. I wish we had something like this in Halo Infinite, right? Like a photo mode even. But design choices yeah. they made in Combat Evolved Anniversary were so weird. Like I always saw that Master Chief just looked kind of odd. Man, look at that. Look at our boy right here, right? For 2001, don't forget, that's a pretty good looking armor set. Some of it might look a little weird, right? But it's there. And you compare it to like nowadays, you're like, damn, that boy's sexy. And then you look at like Combat Evolved Anniversary. I don't know, something about it just doesn't look nearly as badass as the original. I don't know really what it is. He just looks like really, he just looks really awkwardly put together in Combat Evolved Anniversary, where in the original, he just looks like a total badass. Yeah, he definitely looks a little bit more bulky. Like it's slightly, even though like Master Chief in C certainly was a thick boy himself. <laughs> I mean, the guy definitely didn't miss leg day. Like his armor looks way more claustrophobic. Is that, if that's kind of the way to put it compared to like the original one, like the original one just kind of looked like it, it fit him better. Where like this kind of chief looks like he, he may have like, yo, he missed leg day for sure. Tied to many cheat days is probably what's going on with that, really. The mission Halo, a, a lot of stuff is unfinished, yes, but the aesthetics, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like it better this way than when we got in the final version. Uh, but of course, a lot of things are unfinished and still broken at this stage, uh, such as animations, which has some funny results. Like, during the crash, basically the pilot... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can tell, oh my god, how terrifying is that? That's the mouth of the pilot right there. <laughs> just, uh, that just looks so horrific. <laughs> Wait, what Assassin's Creed game had this issue? Where like the face model wouldn't show up? You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, this one. Assassin's Creed Unity. Dude, this was nightmare fuel. Absolute nightmare fuel. 10 out of 10 on IGN. <laughs> also, terminals are available in this build, but the terminals are still very early on yeah. and still use placeholder videos as well as this prototype terminal, which reuses the Halo 3 terminal, at least part of it. Uh, and, oh my god, I forgot know. all about that with Combat Evolved Anniversary. Holy crap. You guys remember that? When you wanted to access a terminal, it would have to, it would take you out of the game and into like the browser of Xbox, the Xbox 360. And you have to go on the Halo Waypoint like browser to watch the video, like on the Halo channel, like app on the Xbox 360. Oh my God, that was the worst experience. <laughs> like it never worked for me. I never got a chance to watch any of the like terminals. It would always just open up like the browser app and then it would, I would click on like a terminal to play and then nothing would happen. And so there's like this whole awkward integration. Again, this is back in what, 2011, right? When the game came out. And like people's internet was definitely getting better. You know, dedicated servers weren't a thing back then really for console gaming and internet connections were, if you weren't inside of a major city in the United States, internet connections were kind of questionable. Uh, I don't remember anybody ever using the Halo channel on the 360. That was just like- Also another weird thing I noticed is uh, on the bridge of the Pillar of Autumn, there, there's a blood pool on here. And- That's weird. It's it's just there, and if you switch to classic <laughs> graphics, which does work in this build, the uh, the blood splatter is still there, and there's a, there's a single bullet like hole there. Does that mean we're about to go into like a uh, Halo iceberg of like what's up with the bullet hole blood splatter in this unreleased beta build? <laughs> yeah, it, it's not there in the final version of Halo CEA in anniversary or classic graphics. It, it, it's for some reason in only in this early pre-release build is that. Blood mm. splatter there with the bullet hole. Uh, also, cutscenes different. Look at that so lighting. Halo C anniversary has always had like different cutscene animations. That's so much. That's so different. Graphics. This version, there's completely different cutscenes. Like in this intro cutscene with the pillar of autumn, not only is the ship different, but you could see there's like mm -hmm. squadrons of lawn swords just flying circles around the pillar of autumn, and the camera angles are completely different as well. Look at the lighting difference right here. Like, I love the lighting in the pre-release build. It kind of reminds me of like what, uh, that recent late night gaming video kind of talking about how the lighting in H2, in Halo 2 was, had to be completely redone. 
And that's why I like Halo 2 looks a little like flat and weird sometimes in lighting. But like this harsh like dynamic lighting right here like looks really good. The darks are dark and the brights are bright. We're like in the final build right here, you can kind of see that like it looks way more flat and not nearly as uh, just not nearly as interesting really. I kind of want, I wish we had that pre-release build lighting. It might have just been like a frame rate issue because even I remember H2A on the 360 had a lot of frame rate issues, which is crazy to think that all you gotta do is update some textures with CEA, and that's basically what they did. But even then, there were some serious frame rate issues with that game. What is this? Dude, is this Sergeant Johnson right here? Are you kidding me right now? No. This has to be like a placeholder or something. Dude, imagine if this was Sergeant, like a Sergeant Johnson in CEA already looks kind of weird. No. This doesn't even have the mustache, man. Sergeant Johnson. Doesn't even look like Sergeant Johnson. Yeah. Now I. Look what they did to my sure boy. Like who this character actually is. I don't think he's actually Sergeant Johnson. This has to be a placeholder. Some people think he might be like a placeholder or yeah. like a reused Marine from uh, or trooper from Halo Reach, and they didn't finish Johnson's model yet. But yeah, he, he looks way different uh, than the uh, final version of Johnson. Yeah, like the lighting again, like you can see like in the lighting of a lot of these scenes, right? Like this one is a little more dramatic when it comes to the lighting, but like look yeah, right he, behind he him here. Like look look at this lighting right here. It's just all so even. Flat ambient light that is just like meant to fill up the room. You know, there's no like depth being shown within like the the flooring here, right? No variation in the lighting. It just looks so flat and weird. Captain Keys during the Jenkins helmet scene. Yeah, look at that. He's actually in combat gear. Huh. He's got like. Armor I mean, that kind of makes everything. sense. And what makes that interesting is because in the final version of uh, Halo CEA, he's just in his like dress uniform, which you know, obviously doesn't really make sense for him to be in this situation, and, and it doesn't even match the original Halo CE cutscene either. He has like some like combat gear on in the uh classic cutscene so the final version yeah see like ha him showing up in like actual combat gear makes way more sense like, like why why would you take the captain of the ship first of all just like even off the ship in the first place to go check out something that you don't really fully understand or know about and he doesn't like have any combat gear on this actually works though like this actually looks kind of cool would make sense that full infection form there it actually picks up in the assault rifle <laughs> <and starts shooting laughs> the assault rifle <laughs> I, I didn't really notice that at first. It was actually a friend that pointed it out to me. But yeah, I mean, let's take a look. Look, it actually look picks it. What? what? So there's that infection form. And that infection form, it just it just spawns an assault rifle out of nowhere. <laughs> and it just starts shooting it in circles, just spinning around and firing it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see an infection form fire an assault rifle. I think it's more like what it looks like. I think like the assault rifle was already designed to do that and like there's supposed to be a person that it looks like the flood forms attached to and that's why it's shooting but out of context that's what it looks like and it's pretty hilarious. Way, way yeah. different from the final cutscene. Wow, all, just the lighting is so different. I'm not sure which one uh, but it looks a lot nicer actually. <laughs> Look at those mountains coming in in the background too like the draw distance. I'm not sure which one <laughs> uh, but it looks That's hilarious looking. It looks a lot nicer actually than the final version. No wonder the flood loses they pick up an AR instead of using the pistol meta. Oh yeah, clearly a noob move. Wild to look at. It. I thought I was kind of expecting some big differences because from what I know about the combat evolved anniversary stuff that like it, the early early builds of this were pretty wild. I was told like like when you first land on Halo, like right here, they actually wanted to like have like a black hole like in like the horizon, like out in the atmosphere kind of thing. To kind of be like, look at this crazy cool new thing that we could do with all these graphics and stuff. You know, apparently they got cut because you know apparently what I think it was Saber who did the the update of this game. Saber kind of want they wanted to go wild with it. Three four three actually kind of pulled them back a little. Like hey no 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 it's not let's not go too wild with it right. Like it's just keep it mainly to the original. We'll give you some artistic vision to be able to create what you want you know. But uh, for the most part, that like Saber like really wanted to go wild with it. And even then like Saber still did some crazy stuff. Like, you can just tell like the coloring, the lighting of the game. It just doesn't match the tonality of what Combat Evolved really was. Like, ton like Combat Evolved like she has, it has some pretty deep saturation with like high contrast, right? With, like the darks are really dark, the brights are really bright and like the colors are really 
vibrant, right? Where I feel like with Combat Vault Anniversary, they actually doled down the colors a bit, brought in a lot more like oranges and like warmer toned colors where Combat Evolved, the original one, used a lot more in color palette of like cooler color palettes, like purples and greens and blues. Okay, okay welcome everybody to the stream. So I was actually showcasing like this, uh, this reshade mod I put together for Halo Combat Evolved, like you see right here. This is the effect that it looks like when you have it on compared to when you have it off. Like this is just like the original, but then you put on my reshade mod. It tries to like replicate like the the cooler color palettes a little bit more, a little bit more atmosphere to it as well. But you can see like, especially with the map, with the level like Halo, how many like, they, they changed the settings to like an evening thing. There's a lot more, you know, warmer color tones, like browns and oranges and reds. Like the original is pretty much like blues, grays, purples, and like a lot, it's just a, it's a totally different visual style to the whole thing. This is the original right here. And then I switch over to the reshaded version and then you can see the original like 